Hello, can you believe the sitcom Yes Minister was released 43 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now, who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. Nigel Hawthorne was born on April 5, 1929, in Coventry, Warwickshire, England. He portrayed the character Sir Humphrey Appleby in the sitcom when he was 51 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 2001, he passed away at 72, leaving us deeply saddened. To me are 10 <laughs> deputy secretaries, 87 undersecretaries, and 219 assistant secretaries. Directly responsible to the principal private secretaries are plain private secretaries. Ever have known if you didn't know him, that he was ill. And he was very, very ill. Despite his increasing Paul Eddington was born on June 18, 1927, in St. John's Forest, London, England. He portrayed the character James Hacker in the sitcom when he was 53 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 1995, he passed away at 68, leaving us deeply saddened. Yeah, well, would you mind? I'm waiting for a rather important call. Look, Mr. Franklin, there happened to be a general election yesterday. Oh, you voted for the other side, did you? My life had always had a touch of cancer. You know, to really find you've got the real thing was very interesting. How many years ago was that? Diana Hardinot was born on April 3rd, 1941, in Wincanton, UK. She portrayed the character Annie Hacker in the sitcom when she was 39 years old in 1980. She is now living happily at the age of 82. You're very tense. No, no, I'm not tense. I'm just a politician's wife. I'm not allowed to have feelings. A happy, carefree politician's wife. I don't understand what's happening. I'm going mad. You're not going mad and you're not dreaming. But how? How have Daphne. you? How did you? Daphne, Jack. Derek Foles was born on September 2nd, 1937, in Wandsworth, London, England. He portrayed the character Bernard Woolley in the sitcom when he was 43 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 2020, he passed away at the age of 82, leaving us deeply saddened. There were two kinds of chairs to go with two kinds of minister. One sort folds up instantly, the other sort goes round and round in circles. <laughs> <laughs> Laurence Olivier. Anthony Quayle. John Savidan was born on January 21st, 1938, in Guernsey. He portrayed the character Sir Frederick Stewart in the sitcom when he was 42 years old in 1980. He is now living happily at the age of 85. But if he doesn't, why send us an advance copy? I see. Well, why don't you find out what it is he wants? Because the embassy staff are all new. We've only just seen the speech, and no one knows anything about this new president. In making a mug out of me. Give over. Oh, that's not true. Isn't it? Well, then prove me wrong. Either you get this side of the bar and start pulling your weight, all of it. Ian Lavender was born on February 16, 1946, in Birmingham, England. He portrayed the character Dr. Richard Cartwright in the sitcom when he was 36 years old in 1982. He is now living happily at 77. What? Yes, you are. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? I am Dr. Cartwright. And then you immediately start thinking, I don't know why, but I do, I don't know, try to be positive. And immediately thinking about, well, what fun we had, and just what a lovely guy he was. Judy Parfit was born on November 7, 1935, in Sheffield, Yorkshire, England. She portrayed the character Betty Oldham in the sitcom when she was 46 years old in 1981. She is now living happily at the age of 87. So says that your department consists on ordering all pens, pencils, paper clips and so on centrally, and then distributing them against departmental requisitions. Time for a cuppa starting next week to raise money for uh, dementia and admiral nurses. Mm. Now, we all know that uh, cancer people have... John Edderton was born on February 5, 1929, in Sydenham, London, England. He portrayed the character Sir Arnold Robinson in the sitcom when he was 51 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 2023, 
He passed away at 94, leaving us deeply saddened. Supposed to achieve, and whose responsibility it is to see that it does, well, the entire system collapses. You're into the whole squalid world of professional management. Daniel Evans was born on May 17, 1926, in Nairobi, Kenya. He portrayed the character Martin in the sitcom when he was 54 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 2009, he passed away at 83, leaving us deeply saddened. Make sure he comes, whoever he is. There are three by-elections hanging on it. I know that. Let me know if you hear anything more. No, you let me know. You're the one with the telly. <laughs> Arthur Cox was born on April 7, 1934, in Banbridge, County Down, Northern Ireland. He portrayed the character George in the sitcom when he was 46 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 2021, he passed away at 87, leaving us deeply saddened. Into the Scottish Fisheries Bill. That's a bit rough, isn't it? A full independent inquiry. Well, you were dropped in it there, sir. Robert Urquhart was born on October 16, 1922, in Ullapool, Scotland. He portrayed the character Tom Sargent in the sitcom when he was 56 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 1995, he passed away at 72, leaving us deeply saddened. Did you manage to get things done? Oh, almost nothing, old boy. <laughs> no, mind you, I didn't, I didn't cotton on to his technique until after I'd been there a year, and then there was the election. Technique. <laughs> Richard Vernon was born on March 7, 1925, in Naivasha, Kenya Colony. He portrayed the character Sir Desmond Glace Brook in the sitcom when he was 55 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 1997, he passed away at the age of 72, leaving us deeply saddened. Or when, uh, when you retire, I mean, it'll be a bit tricky if there's no office to put you in, won't it? Uh, entertaining your visitors in a porter cabin in the car park. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not saying you won't get... Edward Jewsberry was born on August 6, 1917, in London, England. He portrayed the character Vic Gold in the sitcom when he was 63 years old in 1980. We regret to inform you that in 2001, he passed away at 83, leaving us deeply saddened. Minister? Week and a half? I think you may have earned yourself a place in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> I can see the headlines already. Cabinet sp who is your favorite character in the sitcom Yes Minister? If you like the video, I invite you to hit the like button. And if you like this side of content, you can also hit subscribe. This is Turn Back Time, and I hope you have a great day.